hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to draft this ruched pencil dress so if you would like to see that keep on watching but before we head right into it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and then leave a comment okay so let's get into it as you can see i've gone ahead to rule a line here the reason why i rule the line here is because this paper is not the way it's cut this part of it is not straight so i want to make sure that i'm starting on a proper straight line you guys will also know that i always leave come down by one inch here and this is going to be our starting point the first thing i'll do is i'll come here then i'll mark my upper bust length my upper bust length is seven and a half my bust length is 11 and a half my waist length is 16 and a half my hip length is 28 and then my knee length is 38 38 and then the full length of this outfit is 64 but, but, but that is not the actual full length it's just that that is what my table can accommodate but when i'm cutting it i'm going to make the full length to actually be 56 because i want it to be like midi midi so i'll go ahead and replicate this same thing and then roll it down so i'll go ahead and label everything this is my upper bust length this is my bust length this is my waist length this is my hip length then this is my knee length and then this is my full length so the next first thing i'm going to tell you is this the material i'm using to draft to make this outfit is a stretching material so now i'm giving you this information that is very vital let us go into the measurement taking so i'll come here and put mark my shoulder my shoulder is 15 divided by two is seven and a half and i'm going to add one inch that is eight and a half for allowance so I'm going to add it. I'll come here and also mark eight and a half at the upper bust length. And then I am going to rule this together. Now I've ruled this together, I'll come down here by one inch. So from this one inch, I'll make, um, get the center of this, my shoulder line. That, so I'm going to go in on this, this point here by 050. So this is the 050 we are going in. At the upper bust length, I'm going to do my round bust divided by four. My round bust divided by four is, um, my round bust is 44 divided by four is 11. So I'll go ahead and put 11 here. I'll add one inch as my sewing allowance, which is making it 12. So I'm going to connect this line together. This one inch that we came down on the slope here, this one inch here to this 0 0.5 that we came in, then to this my 12 inch that is including my sewing allowance, so at the bust line here, we already know that we are going to be using the same thing. Bust length, we are going to be using the same thing, which is 44 divided by 4, 11 plus 1, which is 12 and a half, 12 inches. Then we also mark the 11 inches, which is our actual bust measurement. So at the waist line here, my waist is 30. So I'm going to do 30 divided by 4, which is 7 and a half. So I'm going to mark my 7 and a half here and also mark my 8 and a half. That is um, plus one sewing allowance. Do you get? Now let me explain something to you. At this point, at this waistline, no normally we're supposed to have a bust that and or at least a waist that. Do you get? But because you're using a stretchy fabric, you're not going to be needing any that in this clue. That is why I'm telling you that I am going to be using a stretchy fabric for this particular style of dressing. So the fabric is important. Do you get? Yeah. So let's move over to the knee length. Sorry, to the hip length. At the hip length, I'm going to do my round hip divided by four. My round hip is fifty divided by four is um, twelve point five. So I'm going to mark that here, twelve point five. Then I also mark my sewing allowance plus one, which is what um, thirteen point five. So at this point, I'm going to come down by two inches. This, the reason I'm coming down by two inches is so that I am not going to have, you know that after making clothes, you're going to have here, yeah, shooting out. Yes, it's going to help you eliminate that. So I'm just going to mark it this way and then we're going to leave it. So you come to the knee length. At the knee length, you're going to do your round hip minus eight. Again, if you want to learn how to do a comprehensive body measurement, I'm going to link that video in the description box. I mean, I cannot explain it here. I've already done the video on it. So that's going to make, help you understand how we're getting our knee, our round knee. So at this um, knee length, we are going to do our round hip minus eight. 
my round repeat is 50 minus 8 is 42 divided by 4 is 10.5 so i'm going to go here and mark my 10.5 then i also go again and do my one inch for my sewing allowance okay so how i've done this at my full length i want this outfit to be give that pencil look even though it is ruched i'm going to take in as my full length whatever i have at, at my round knee my round knee what i have here is 10 and half i'm going to subtract two inches from the 10 and half giving me eight and a half inches and that's what i'm going to mark on my full length and then you're going to add your sewing allowance which is one inch making it what um nine and a half inch right yeah so this is what you're going to have so i'll go ahead and connect everything together i'm going to use my ruler and connect these points together please watch carefully as i connect everything together by the way guys if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and just like that guys our front pattern this is our front pattern is ready i want to do that asymmetrical boat neckline yeah so what i'll do i'll come here and just go in by uh, let me say four inch at this side and then come down by one inch at this side and then i am going to connect it together but i'm not going to cut this out i'm going to leave this this way i won't be cutting it out i'll just leave it this way for now and i won't do anything to it then from this our neck point here i will now connect it to this one inch to give us our shoulder slope so just watch carefully as i cut it out for me to cut this out i'm going to also cut out this space here remember i'll be cutting out this space that is here as well Right, so i've gone ahead to cut out the front pattern so this is the front pattern here is my starting point i'll now go ahead and mark one and a half inches from here to the full length this is going to serve as our sewing our zip allowance because this outfit is going to have a zip the next thing i'm doing now is to place my front pattern which is going to start from this one and a half zip allowance that we did here I'll come to the knee length. This is my knee length at this point here. I mark out a straight line here. Then my full length, I am also going to go ahead and mark a straight line. Then my waist length, I also go ahead and mark a straight line at my waist length here. So what we're now going to do now is at the waist length, I'm going to go in by one and a half. This one and a half that we had here, I'm going to go in by one and a half here. Please, please pay attention. Remember, if you're a smaller sized girl, like you're not as you can see my thumbnail not as curvy as me one inch is enough for you but i'm using one and a half and because i've removed one and a half from here at this waist now at this side i'm going to extend this line now so at this waist then because we took in one one and a half at the waist i'm going to come to this end and keep put the one and a half here do you understand at the waist length we went in this way but for the full length we're going to go up and down so i'm going to go up by two and a half inches i also come down by two and a half inches I'm not going to add anything at the hip length for this side, okay? They will not come to the knee length. At the knee length, you are going to go in by 1.5 here, just like how we had our zip allowance. So we are going to go in by 1.5 here. So we are going to extend our knee length at this side. So we can add back that 1.5 to compensate for this um, thing we are doing. Then for the full length, we are going to do the same thing. Add 1.5 as well. I know my full length is out of focus. Let me focus it yeah so we are we are going to go out here by 1.5 and then at this side we are also going to go in by 1.5 so now that we have gotten this I, I will go ahead and rule this like join this together i'm going to join here to this part okay i'll join here to here then remember that this our material sorry the front pattern we, we came down by two inches here so i'm going to rule this line to cater for that to our two inches you can rule it out remember we didn't add anything at the hip line so we are going to connect this line to this point here so i'm going to connect this line to this point here now we have done this i will now connect this point this on the waistline to our hip line using my hip curve so i'm going to connect this to this line here this is going to be our new uh, for, this is going to be for our back pattern then from here here i'll now join um, join it to this place we didn't move anything from there so we are going to just we are going to still maintain that you understand so this is what we have for this side the next thing i'll just do is to just trace out the end of this arm wall like at this side you know so just fit into here you get i'll trace this out 
Now I'm, I'm done stressing it out. I'll now remove this. So I'm going to put place my ruler at this point and then connect it to this one point. This is our waist length. We went in by 1.5. So I'll connect it from here to here. Do you understand? This is going to be how our back side is going to look like. I'll connect it from here to here. I'm going to connect from here to these two and a half inches that we came up at the full at the hip length. Do you understand? So I'll connect this this way. I'll now connect it to this one and a half inches that we went in at the knee length. So I'll connect this to this place. So I'll just take this down this way. I'll just take it down. We're going to cut out. We don't so you can see how I am gradually cutting everything out to get the shape of the back pattern. So I'm going to go ahead at this back pattern and mark out my waist. Remember my waist is 16 and a half. I've already patterned everything out. So I'm going to take my time and explain it to you. If you come, this first three, one, two, and three is your upper bodies. So you have your upper bust length here, and then you have the bust length here, and then you have the waist length here. I slashed it under the upper bust length. My upper bust length is seven or yeah, seven. I slashed it under it because I didn't want it to be on the armhole completely. So I now slashed um, the bust length and also slashed the waist length. So you can see how it's looking. The distance from this to this particular one is 14 inches. The distance from this to this is 14 inches and then the distance from this to the from the way this is where the this is the waist that is going to begin the hip axis you get so you have this will join to the hip line and then will join to this knee length you can see that this is the knee length see my knee length line look at the hip length look at the waist length for the front pattern and then this is the waist length for the bodies do you understand so this is what you are going to have and then this is the full length so i slashed everything open so let us count this what i have is one two three four five six and seven and the distance between all of them is 14 inches so you can see how i've gone ahead to use my to connect from this line to this line this is the waist length that is joining towards the hip length i've connected everything together so you're going to use your ruler and just connect everything together so i'll, I'll go ahead now and cut out this pattern so guys you can see how long this material is the front pattern it is super super long and by the time we go to the sewing machine and then join everything together it is going to come back to the full length so guys this is the back um pattern i have successfully cut this side so the distance between the whole pattern is 14 inches i have one two three four five six and seven all together and i've gone ahead to like cut out this side of the pattern if you can see like here is now demarcated i'm about to like cut out the center back side i hope you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you